Within Video AI, you could turn a single text prompt with any idea that you have into a published ready video. And one of my favorite options that I'll show you is cloning your own voice and using that as the voiceover. And you could also use a simple text prompt to translate your video once it's done to some of the top languages. Now, let me show you exactly how this works step by step. I'll put a link in the description that will bring you to this page. And I'll also give you a coupon code that I'll add in the description that gives you twice the amount of video generations for your first month. I'll also put this QR code on screen if you wanna just scan that, that will take you right to the NVIDIA website. They also have an iOS app, so if you wanna use it there, it's pretty much everything I'm about to show you also works there. I'll just show you here on their website. Now, once you sign up, it's pretty straightforward to get started. You'll see a box right here where you could start with a simple text prompt or you could give it a lot of detailed instructions to get exactly what you're looking for, you have up to 25,000 characters here for this simple prompt. Now, here's my text prompt. I'm gonna create a five minute YouTube video about the importance of lighting in videos. I do a lot of YouTube type tutorials to show you how to light your videos. And I also give it more details. I said, start the video very matter of factly and then more humor as you go on. I asked for a young British voice. I'm gonna clone my own voice in my second example. In the first one, I wanna show you some of the AI generated voices if you don't wanna clone and use your own voice and it's gonna add subtitles, I'm gonna ask it to add subtitles. So that's really all it takes. You could also ask it for short form vertical videos too. So those are gonna be videos for Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts. But in this case, I want a five minute video. I'm gonna just press generate right over here. Then it's gonna bring us to this page. It's gonna ask for our audience based on that prompt. So in this case, I want to create a video for YouTubers, not for filmmakers, because YouTubers typically don't know lighting, filmmakers do. Look and feel of the video, Bright is actually the best choice out of these three. Now, platform, I'm going to YouTube, I asked for a five minute video, but if you're making like a 60 second video, you could use one of these options here. And these are gonna be vertical format. In this case, this is gonna be just like the video you're watching right now. Now, this usually takes a couple minutes, it's already 12% done. This is doing all kinds of stuff for me. It's creating the entire video, finding the right clips for me, finding the music, the voiceover, all of that is taking place automatically. So the text prompt is really all I needed, but I'll let this finish up and I'll show you some of the editing options too. Okay, in just a couple minutes, here's my video, five minutes and four seconds. Let me just show you a quick preview then I'll show you some of these editing options using this prompt box down here. All right, lads and lasses, listen up. Want to make cracking videos? You need good lighting, yeah? It's like having a shower after a football match. Makes all the difference. It's not just about seeing things. It's about feeling the mood, the vibe, the whole shebang. Okay, pretty funny so far. And that was one of the parts of the prompt that I gave it, that it was going to be kind of humorous in this tone and he followed that pretty well. Lighting hacks for filmmakers from basic to bonkers. So I put a nice title over here that I could actually use inside of YouTube. I think this is a pretty good title. But what if you actually wanna make some changes? Let me show you that. And then I'm gonna show you an option to clone your own voice too, so you don't have to use these AI voiceover, which is pretty interesting, but a lot of times I want to use my own voice, especially with YouTube, so it's pretty consistent every time I make a new video. Now down here with this box, you could explain things that you wanna change in your video. So I'm gonna to ask to change the tone for a more serious tone and see what we come up with. All you have to do is type in a sentence and press generate. Later on, I'm gonna actually show you how to use that to translate the final video to a different language, but I'll do that when I clone my own voice. Attention everyone. Do you want to create professional videos? Good lighting is essential. It's like taking a refreshing shower after a long day. Probably more boring than the first version I had. So I think my prompt was a little better the first time around, but if I wanted to kind of compare the two, this is the more serious tone and everything else, right? Same footage, same person, same AI generated voiceover, but the tone completely changed with a simple text prompt down here. Now, what if you wanna take your editing even further? You wanna really do some manual adjustment. There's this edit tab right over here, and this lets you pretty much change everything you see, including all the stock footage that is picked for us, including the script, including the music. So I'll go up here, you can see edit media, edit script, or edit the music. Usually, if you go inside of the edit script, this is where you wanna make some changes to the actual voiceover. So if you wanted to make some changes, you can manually type that in over here. Let's say I don't want attention, everyone. I wanted to just say, do you want to create professional videos? Good lighting is essential. That's how I wanted to start. So I would go ahead and make that edit 
to the video. Now, if you click on these right here, so media, this is the prompt that it used in the background to find that specific opening clip for us. I don't need to change that. The text right here, this is the title text right here. So I could actually change this manually. And the narrator here, I could actually change the narrator over here from select speakers from this drop down, and I could even change how fast they read it. Now you can see they give you a lot of manual control here, but usually I just make some minor adjustment to the script or I use that first box that I showed you. I'm gonna go ahead and apply these changes to that part. Do you want to create professional videos? Okay, so it removed that little bit in the beginning of it. Let me go back to the edit tab. You could also do the same thing in the music section. You could edit the music if you wanted to. You could also search for other music too, but it usually does a good job picking the right music based on the tone of the video. Edit media is a place where I spend a little bit of time sometimes because what you could do is if you don't like any of the clips that it picked for you, all you have to do, let's say, I feel like this clip is not the right, actually this one I like, let's click on this one. And it shows you the section of the script that correlates to this clip. So these few words, this is the three second clip it showed you, it shows it right over here too. All I have to do is look for other videos. They also have images that you could search for too. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some searching over here. Okay, and here's a bunch of other examples that I could use to replace that one specific shot. And I could see which one makes the most sense over here. This one is actually pretty good. Let me go ahead and replace that, apply the change. You could also select any section and upload media from your own computer. If you wanna insert yourself, for example, you can upload video and replace any shot that you see over here that it picked for you. Now, once you're finished with all that, all you have to do is press this download tab right here. Then you're gonna get this box over here. Again, the free version actually has a watermark. So typically for more serious users, you definitely wanna remove that watermark to post on YouTube. So that just starts at $20 a month. I'm gonna remove the watermark and no branding here. And I'm gonna use the 1080p version. That's typically high upload. And then it licenses all that iStock footage, for example that had that watermark on top of it. So that is all going to get removed because I have the paid subscription here. And then it's gonna go ahead and generate that video for us. So while it's doing that, let me show you the voice cloning option. That's one of my favorite options and the translation too. So if I go to the left side right here and click these three lines, there is this tab called voices. Now here I've cloned my own voice before, but all you have to do is press add voice right here. And then it's gonna ask you to submit a recording, a 30 second recording, it could be video or audio. I had a little audio file I recorded on my phone and an airdropped in here. And I just have to read these set of words here for privacy options. And that's all it took to clone my own voice. And then that appears over here. And if you go to the voices tab, just from over here, you could go ahead and use this. And then it just adds this simple little text at the end of your prompt. So I'm gonna give it the same prompt again but on their settings, I'm not gonna ask for a British voice. I'm gonna ask it to use my own generated voice over here. I didn't even give it a name, but typically you would just say my own voice or clone voice and then give it the normal prompt. Okay, so I'm gonna remove the previous setting over here and this new setting is gonna go at the end of my prompt like this. So same exact prompt as before, but then now I have a new setting on the bottom. And I'm gonna take the humor part out of it because. I usually don't deliver things like that cool British voice. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out that humor tone and it's just gonna be matter of fact, which is how I like to talk. And I'm gonna generate the video from here. Okay, again, YouTuber, look and feel is clean. Platform is YouTube. I'll press continue and let this finish up. Without proper lighting, even the best camera can't capture the true essence of your subject. It's the secret ingredient that can transform an ordinary video into something extraordinary. Okay, that was pretty good for my own voice clone with this video. And again, I could do all the same things I showed you in the edit page, but this time, let me show you one option that you could type in here and generate a different version of this in a different language. So I'm gonna ask it to translate this to Spanish. Es como magia para vuestras imágenes. Con unos pocos ajustes podéis crear efectos. Now, did you notice what happened? It didn't change the voice. It still used my clone voice, but now I'm speaking Spanish, which I don't know how to speak Spanish. So that's, <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Now I could post this to a brand new channel that caters to a Spanish audience, for example, a ton of different use cases when it comes to this. Again, once you're happy with it, just press download. Again, choose these options over here, press continue, and it's gonna generate a brand new copy for you for downloading. Let me go back to the first version I had over here, which is now finished. 
and let's go ahead and press play on that. Good lighting is like magic, innit? It makes your videos look professional, even if you filmed on a potato. It makes colors look amazing, like a rainbow threw up on your screen. Plus, it hides all those wrinkles and blemishes. That's pretty funny. So that's the version that had that young British voice with that humor tone that I had in my initial prompt. And the video is ready now. I just press download right here. It's gonna download it to my computer. It's published ready. I could also go back if I wanna make any adjustment to it and download a different version. This saves it for you. It's all going to be available over here in your home page. All your previous creations will appear right over here and you could jump back to any of them or any of your exports as well. And that was your complete tutorial in using NVIDIA AI to turn a simple text prompt into a completely finished video. And as I mentioned in the beginning, everything is linked in the description, including a link to NVIDIA AI. If you use my special coupon code, you also get two times more video generation credits for your first month. Thanks so much for NVIDIA for partnering with me on this video and I will see you on the next one.